Hi everyone, this is Vignesh from VNMU. Today we are going to see about pivotal fossa in anatomy. In upper limb, the most important question is a cubital fossa. In lower limb, popliteal fossa. Cubital fossa, exactly here, this is a lateral epicondyle, this is a medial epicondyle. You can see the medial epicondyle, you can palpate the bone, the medial epicondyle, the lateral epicondyle. In between, there is a fossa or a depression. Like in between like arm and the forearm that's a fossa or depression and it forms like triangular and it has a three borders okay let me draw the three lateral epicondyl this is a medial epicondyl in between there is a imaginary line makes triangular shape Lateral epicondyle, medial epicondyle, and apex. This line is a lateral border, medial border, and this one is a base or superior border. Let me tell you one monomic. What the what are the structure which present in the cubital fossa? This or tag. Assume like Rahul thinking about neuroanatomy. It is the first one. It's or stands for radial nerve, and the second one is a tendon. Tendon of biceps brachialis. Laterally, the first structure, which is a radial nerve, the second one in the laterally, little medial, you can say little medial or lateral side, which is tendon of biceps brachialis and A. Brachial in the medial side, the brachial artery, and it continues to the apex and it makes two branches. One is radius artery, and one more is ulnar artery. And the fourth one is a nerve, it's a medial. Now, and behind the medial epicondyle, you can see the ulnar now. Laterally, the first structure is a radial now, second one. This is a tendon of biceps brachialis. The third one is an artery, the brachial artery, which continues to the apex and it makes two branches radial artery and ulnar artery. The fourth structure in the medial side, which is a median nerve. Let me write it. First one is radial artery. Second one, tendon of biceps brachialis. Third one, the brachial artery. Fourth one, the median nerve. The one more structure, ulnar nerve. This is exception behind the medial epicondyle. Okay, we'll see the roof and the floor.
the roof first you can see the skin and then fascia the third one bicipital upon neurosis which cover the these three structures tender artery and the nerve which cover or protect the three structures this bicipital upon neurosis and then the floor lateral border lateral border supinator muscle or brachio radialis muscle and the medial border which has pronator teres muscle and then superior border which has epicondyle of humerus once again we will see the once again we will see again cubital fossa which is look like triangular shape which has a three border lateral border medial border and superior border lateral epicondyle in between the lateral epicondyle and medial epicondyle there is a imaginary line it's called a superior border or base and it has a three main structures or tan rahul thinking about neuro anatomy with a radial artery tendon of biceps brachialis and brachial artery median now and in between behind the medial epicondyle there is a ulnar now and then this brachial artery which has which continues to apex and it has a two branches one is a radial artery and one more is ulnar artery and the tendon the tendon of biceps brachialis from the biceps muscle the tendon it's come come from biceps muscle and it attached to the radial tuberosity attached to the radial tuberosity and the roof is a skin fascia the bicipital aponeurosis which cover or protect the three structures tendon brachial artery and the median nerve the floor lateral border has a supinator muscle and the brachio radialis muscle the lateral border the medial border it has a pronator teres muscle and the superior border is a epicondyle of humerus okay thanks for watching we'll continue to some other subjects thanks